It started as an unremarkable day for James and his team of divers. They had set out on their small research vessel, their goal being to explore the waters off the coast of San Francisco. The sea was calm and the sunlight danced on the surface, creating a mesmerizing mosaic of light and shadow. As they descended into the cool, tranquil depths, they marveled at the beauty of marine life. Schools of fish shimmering like underwater rainbows, clusters of coral swaying in harmony with the ocean's rhythm. Just as the divers were settling into their work, an unexpected sight broke their concentration. Out of the blue, a massive 50-foot humpback whale appeared, moving with a sense of purpose directly toward them. Whales are usually cautious around humans, maintaining a respectful distance. So this approach was unusual to say the least. As the whale drew closer, James could feel an unspoken urgency in its movements, as though it was seeking them out deliberately. When their eyes met, his small human ones and the whale's vast expressive gaze, it felt as if the creature was trying to convey a message. James couldn't shake the sense that this was no ordinary encounter. The closer they got, the more the grim reality of the situation revealed itself. The whale's majestic body was ensnared in a horrific mess of fishing nets and industrial chains. These weren't just a nuisance, they were a death sentence. The tangled gear weighed nearly 1.5 tons, cutting deep into the whale's thick skin and leaving open, festering wounds. Every movement of its massive body seemed labored, a painful struggle against the burden it carried. For James, the sight was heartbreaking. Here was a creature that was meant to glide effortlessly through the vast expanse of the ocean, reduced to a prisoner of human negligence. The team observed how the whale stayed unusually still, almost as if it understood that they could help. Humpback whales are known for their intelligence, and scientists have often noted their ability to display complex emotions. Could this behavior be a cry for help, an acknowledgement of its dire circumstances? James, filled with a mix of awe and urgency, turned to his team. We can't leave it like this, he said firmly. This whale is trusting us to do something. Despite the risks, both to themselves and to the creature, they knew they had to act. The rescue operation was as daunting as it was dangerous. Approaching a 40-ton marine giant entangled in heavy, painful debris required not just skill, but extraordinary caution. The team donned their gear, each movement slow and deliberate as they prepared for the task ahead. With specialized cutting tools in hand, they entered the water and swam cautiously toward the whale. What happened next defied all expectations. Rather than thrashing or resisting, the whale seemed to sense their intentions. It remained calm, its vast body motionless, except for slight adjustments that seemed almost deliberate. As James and his team got to work, they were struck by the enormity of the challenge. The ropes and chains were tightly bound, their weight making them difficult to maneuver. Each cut required precision. One wrong move could cause harm to the whale or the divers themselves. The task stretched on for hours, each minute a test of endurance and focus. The water was cold, and the weight of the gear made movement exhausting. Yet through it all, the whale displayed remarkable cooperation. It tilted its body, shifted its fins, and moved just enough to help the divers access the tangled mess. For James, it felt like a silent partnership a mutual understanding born of desperation and trust. Finally, after more than five grueling hours, the last rope was severed. The entanglement, which had been both a physical and symbolic weight on the whale, fell away. There was a moment of stillness, a profound pause as if the whale was processing its newfound freedom. Then without warning, it began to move. What followed was a sight the divers would never forget. The whale swam in wide, graceful circles, its massive body carving joyous figure eights in the water. It breached the surface, spraying a plume of mist into the air before diving back down in an exuberant display of freedom. The divers watched in awe, their exhaustion forgotten in the face of such a breathtaking spectacle. But the most unforgettable moment came when the whale returned to James. Slowly, gently, it swam toward him, its enormous frame gliding effortlessly through the water. Then with the lightest touch, it pressed its body against him. It was a moment of connection so profound that James was left speechless. In that simple gesture, the whale seemed to convey its gratitude, a silent acknowledgement of the bond they had formed. 
The rescue was over, but the story was just beginning. For James, the experience was a stark reminder of humanity's impact on the natural world. Each year, thousands of marine animals suffer due to discarded fishing gear, plastic pollution, and other byproducts of human activity. The scars on the whale's body were a visible testament to the consequences of these actions. James began to share the story with others, determined to raise awareness about the plight of marine life. He spoke at schools, community centers, and conservation events, urging people to take small but meaningful steps to protect the oceans. Reducing plastic use, supporting sustainable fishing practices, and participating in beach cleanups. These were actions anyone could take to make a difference. The tale of the humpback whale became more than a story of rescue. It became a symbol of hope and resilience. It highlighted the shared emotions that connect all living beings, reminding humanity of its role as stewards of the planet. For James and his team, the encounter was a life-changing experience. A reminder that even the smallest actions can have a profound impact on the world around us. Through the eyes of that whale, James saw the ocean not as a distant alien world, but as a vital part of the same earth we all call home. It was a call to action, a plea for unity between humans and nature, and a vision of a future where such rescues would no longer be necessary.